right, this morning we're going to quickly discuss the T-SQL error, arithmetic overflow error, converting int to data type numeric. If you work on a front-end application or a middle-end application and you get this error, this is a database error. So just to demonstrate this in action, suppose you want to cast a thousand as a decimal five two, and you'll see we get the error. <coughs> If we want to cast a thousand as uh, decimal six two, it will cast the decimal fine. Um, if we add another zero to this, it won't. So, a lot of times this uh, this actually is it can go back to just basic design. What is the max value that you're storing, and when you're starting to cast that value. Um, what is the maximum value that it can be. And keep in mind with decimal, it's going to throw in two decimal places on the right side of the period. And so you're going to subtract this two from this six. So you basically only have four decimal places to the left side of the period. And uh, so this is just a, a quick note. If you, if you see this error, this one can be a little confusing, especially if you're doing, uh, what is it, front-end applications and you get this error and you're like, what, it's actually a database error. Uh, so you want to check your values and like say, you know, you can triple or quadruple your, or add another zero to your maximum value. So for instance, if I have an application and I know that the values in the database, let's say column one, which is an int, the values should never all added together be over 2,000. So I'm going to go ahead and tack on another zero to that, which is 20,000. And that's going to give me enough space to where I'm not going to get errors like this, especially when you're casting it as decimal, which may be important in various calculations.